Nearly all Illinois workers can expect to have one week of full paid leave. It's part of a bill signed into law yesterday by Governor J.B. Pritzker. Now it starts at next year and you can use that time off for any reason. We talked to a manager and a worker and they're actually on different sides of the debate. News 3's Danny Valle has more from Carbondale. Inside Sunny Street Cafe, people ate breakfast and watched a Seinfeld rerun while assistant manager and server Brianna Badat passed out food and processed news of Illinois' Paid Leave for All Workers Act being signed into law. A very big shock. He called this morning. I said, what? <laughs> Illinois is now one of three states that requires most employers to provide at least five paid leave days a year. School and park districts are exempt as well as student workers or temporary employees at higher education institutions. Financial is one issue. The second is it's hard enough to keep staff to start with. General Manager Charles Crisco is concerned employees could take advantage. Well, a lot of people just really don't want to work nowadays. I hate to say it. My employees are very good at work for me. Why are we paying people not to come to work? And the new law could cut profits already wounded by inflation. The employees might like it, but they don't understand the other side where if we don't make money, we don't survive. It sounds a lot worse than what it's actually going to be. We don't have a lot of employees here, you know, maybe 20 people. For Badad, it's a monumental break for single parents who had to miss work for a car crash or a family illness or whatever the reason. When those kind of situations arise, I just kind of take it as a loss and I say, you know, I, I have somewhere else I have to be more than I have to make the money that I have to make today, you know. That new law goes into effect January 1st, a date Badad is looking forward to Crisco believes the law only helps the rich. I just disagree that the government tries to tell people how to run their businesses. If I got an employee who are good workers, I will pay them to be good workers. But if you got employees that don't really don't want to work and they got to work for a paycheck, that's a problem of mine. In Carbondale, Danny Valle, News 3.